Hi, this is Tom White from Horizon Productions, and today we're going to be recreating the Dark Mark tattoo effect from Harry Potter, which looks something like that. Uh, now, of course, in the real Harry Potter, they would have been using some 3D software, uh, but seeing as you're only using After Effects, this is a much quicker and easier way of doing it, and the uh, result is it still looks quite accurate. Okay, so get your movie or your picture of an arm and drag it into the new composition icon, and then get your Dark Mark which I just found on Google Images and place it above the text, uh, above the picture. Now, I've got a little website link there, so I'm just gonna get rid of that by pressing G and drawing a little mask around it, like that. And it's got a white background as well, so I'm gonna go effect, key in color key, hit the eyedropper and click the white, and then set the color tolerance up to 100. Okay, I'm gonna hit R and set the rotation to match it so that the snake's head is nearest the wrist and it goes straight down the arm like that. About there. Also you're going to hit, click on the layer and click T and then set the opacity to 50%. And then you're going to want to give it two effects which is one is distort wave warp and the second is blur and sharpen fast blur. With wave warp Set the wave height to 2 and the wave speed to 0 0.5 and blur and sharpen set the blurriness to 1 and repeat edge pixels. Then click on the layer and either command or control D depending on whether your windows or Mac and hit it twice to duplicate the layer twice. So you know, should now have 3 copies. Click the second layer and change the blurriness to 8. Third layer, change the blurriness to 12. And there you have it, a very quick and easy way of creating the dark mark effect from Harry Potter. I'm Tom White from Horizon Productions.